you guys, it's me and Rachel. All right, like, how are y'all doing? I'm doing okay-ish. Yep, that's gonna be my slogan from now on. You guys are gonna have to be okay with it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive. I'm just in a non-sociable mood lately. It's not every day. Yeah, usually. But I just wanted to talk about some stuff that has been on my mind and just catch you guys up and just making a random video about my random thoughts because Miss Original Riley has random thoughts that she has no one to talk to because she doesn't like regular humans. So, let's get on, shall we? Well, current obsession right now, I don't know if you guys know who this is, but he started out as a minor. His name is Twains, or Issa. Oh my lord. Literally queen. Not even joking right now. I love Twain so much. Like, marry me. I wouldn't go that far, but be my best friend. Definitely. I mean, we could be rocking the scene together, Twains. Hit me up at Original Riley 8 on Twitter. Link in bio. Something that's been on my mind that's kind of like messing with my psyche a little bit. And that's kind of like affecting my life a little bit too much. So today, February 24th, the day I'm filming this, Trevor Moran dyed his hair blonde. I'm not sure if I should be excited or if I should be freaking out. Because I am having mixed emotions. I'm having an Anthony Padilla hair moment right now. If you guys don't know what I mean, it's Anthony Padilla from Smosh when he went from his emo hair that he's had for like ever since he was a teenager. And then he went like hair swoopy up, like pretty much emo hair up. And now, like, guys, do you see that? Our baby boy's growing up. He's dying his hair. What's next? Is he going to get the real septum piercing? I'm not ready for Trevor. I only saw him like two weeks ago and he had a beautiful brown hair. And now look what happened. He's gone blonde. He's gone blonde. I'm not trying to be rude, but can we all agree that he kind of looks like Miley Cyrus in this picture? I showed my mom the picture and she's like, he doesn't look like Miley Cyrus. I'm like, no, but he looks a little bit more feminine. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with being a little feminine. I'm all for feminism. I don't think that's the right word. Ignore me if I use the wrong use of that word. But literally, like, he got his hair dyed. Which is okay. He's a good Miley Cyrus. No shading on Miley Cyrus, and he's just pretty cool. I ain't about that life anymore, guys, but... No shine. No. Um, I've also come to the conclusion that I'm no longer allowing myself to film in my spinning chair because I just spin around too much in the corner of my room and I'm afraid I'm going to hit either my door or my wall. And it just squeaks like, you hear that? That's my chair. I'm just going to be like filming my green chair from now on. It's boring. Uh, life choices, guys. It's so aggravating. <sighs> the good thing is that I, I kind of moved some stuff around in my room. Like, you guys haven't really even seen my room yet, other than my beautiful window and this. But I moved some stuff around, so it looks really nice. And I have an area. I'm going to do Q&A's, I have this area for like vloggity typey thingies, and then I have another area on my bed for like stuff. I don't know, but my room is just, I feel like it shows my personality, and it's a perfect place for filming. I mean like, who wouldn't want to film next to the beautiful human being? Ashton's getting covered by this Hello Kitty decoration, I'm sorry Ash. They're just beautiful humans, I mean, wouldn't you want to marry one of them? To every person out there, Colin's mind back off. He's mine, I swear. Speaking of people that I have dibs on, I'd like to make this clear. This might sound a little weird. I'm going to try to tone it down. But you know who's my ultimate OTP, guys? Hashtag ride. If you don't know what hashtag ride is, it's basically my ship, myself, and Tide Levi. Don't know who Tide Levi is, you're missing out on life. Let me fill you in if you don't know who Tide Levi is. Tide Levi is Trace Vaughn, and if you don't know who Trace Vaughn is, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But 
that's his brother he's 15 very close to my age and i'm just like yes and we look so cute together and i met him at boyos live and his face was like this is his face this is my face we like right here i could have kissed him right on the cheek but i like held myself together and i'm like riley you cannot do this you do not want to get thrown out of your first youtube convention please god no and like the first official day of playlist life it's not the first thing you want to do so i held in it but just saying i have a crush on him i'm admitting it i have a crush on tide levi tide if you ever watch this because i'm probably going to tweet this to you a hundred times hit me up like i said twitter in the bio speaking of ships random thing here just gonna throw out some of my favorite ships troiler obviously showy obviously by the way if you don't know what troiler is what are you doing with your life i feel like that's another that's gonna become another saying of mine what are you doing with your life i don't know what i'm doing with my life stay on track rally anyway troiler tyler McQueen, troy Swan, showy shane dawson joey graceffa it was Kalele Anthony, Kalele Anthony, but obviously they're not together anymore, which makes me very sad and depressed. See, this is what I do with my life. I don't have anything better to do. So I basically live inside my room on Twitter and YouTube and Netflix. And I live off the zebra cakes. And those things are freaking delicious, guys. If you don't have zebra cakes where you are, what are you doing with your life? think I might start this on my channel, but I'm gonna tell you guys, like, my favorite YouTube channel of the month, I guess, and this, or oh, not the month, the week, this week is... See, I don't script these videos because I want to be real with everyone on my channel. I don't want it to be fake. So I try to go off from my head like the three videos I've done, well, technically two because the other one was a music video. I just go from my head like no scripts because I want to be real. I want to be hashtag real. But anyway, I'm having a hard choice deciding right now. But I think I know who it is. I think. I think. This week's Spotlight YouTuber slash YouTube channel shout out thingamajiggy goes out to, oh, one of my favorite YouTubers, like, ever, named Matt Lieberman. Yay! Matt. If you guys don't know who Matt Lieberman is, I don't know what you're doing with your life. See, there I go again. It's going to be a slogan, guys. Anyway, Matt Lieberman is a host on two YouTube channels, After Buzz TV and SourceFed. If you guys don't know what SourceFed is either, do I even need to say the expression? Yeah. I just, oh my god, Matt Lieberman. And I've been obsessed with watching his hashtag Ask Lieb, Liebs episodes on his channel. They're kind of long, 20 minutes long, but... People don't really like to sit through them, but I find them quite enjoying. Like, if I'm drawing or something, I like listening to his advice. And I think Matt's just, like, a wonderful person. And he's so kind-hearted. And literally, I hate seeing him sad and everything. Because I've watched a couple of his videos. And I just almost started crying. Because what he does on his Ask Leave episodes is when he gives advice, you send him an email. He hopefully reads it. He always reads yours, even if he doesn't put it in a video. He responds, and sometimes he just gets really emotional, and he almost starts crying. Like, I watched an episode, and I almost started crying because he was crying, and I just hate seeing my favorite people in the world be upset. Like, it makes me sad. So I was, like, tearing. I was, like, sitting at my drawing table, which is, like, over there, and I was like, Oh my gosh! No, Matt Lieberman, I can't. I can't actually even answer me a couple times on Twitter, which is freaking amazing. Like, I was sick one day, like midnight, and I was sitting in my bed, a bunch of pillows sitting me up in a position because I couldn't breathe, and that was the only way I could breathe. So, and I was just on Twitter, and I was like, oh, 
I look back at him and he's like, oh my god, favorite. And I'm like, ah, I died. And then it's been best friendship ever since then. So Matt, if you watch this, which I have a feeling you might, because you seem to always favor and retweet my tweets. So you'll probably end up seeing this somehow because you stay very in touch with your fans. So I hope you see this video and I hope you know how much you mean to me and to the YouTube community and your Libra friends. Hashtag for proud Libra friend. I just want you to know that you're important and that we all love you so, so much. A lot. I love you a lot. Love you, Matt. I can't say it enough because it's true. I just love everybody. You guys are all my friends, and if I could hug you, I'd hug you. You know, there's like, oh, I only have 20 subscribers, and most of them are my friends in school, and they subscribe to me out of pity. They're all my friends, and even if I don't like you, I'd give you a hug because, hey, the YouTube community is all about love and sharing and being weird and awkward, ain't it? And I fit right into that category. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of random thoughts i think that's what i'm gonna call it random thoughts in the five sauce corner but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm sorry again for the lack of posting i will certainly try my best to do something about that i'm going to try to film 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 that probably sounded like a load of hubbub but i'm going to try my best because it's gonna sound cheesy I want to do this for the rest of my life. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for people like Matt, Lieberman, Tyler Oakley, Connor Franta, O12, hashtag O12 forever, Keen Lolly, Pilk DeFranco, SourceFed. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So, hey, I feel like why not continue the legacy? I mean, we're the next generation, aren't we? Hashtag Generation YouTube. Woo! So, that's my time here. I will see you guys soon. I will try to post sometime soon. Don't keep my word on that. I will certainly try. I'm making my effort. Things are just going on right now. But anyways, I love you all. It's been amazing getting to talk to you all again. And... I will see you guys in the YouTube universe. Peace out, homies.